Well, one of the things I like the most about it is just an excuse to go outside and go see new places and travel around. That Fifth Lake, for example, like you wouldn't really come out here for any other reason besides maybe trying to catch some fish. One of the big draws to it, at least for me. It's springtime in Laramie, Wyoming, and that means the snow is melting, the ice on the lakes is breaking up, and the local fishermen are coming out of hibernation to cast their lines. Today we're here with professional photographer Ben Crashauer. All right. As he wades through the cold water taking photographs of the local anglers. I primarily shoot adventure-based photography, mostly fly fishing and mountain biking. I got into fly fishing um, one summer when I was working for the Forest Service doing stream surveys outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. A lot of the stuff I shoot, I like shooting almost water level. Shooting low and finding cool little foreground elements to shoot through, finding little natural windows. I love shooting through all these little cattails. And then sometimes I like shooting really high, especially on these lakes, because you can basically eliminate everything except for the fishermen in the water. The fish just rose. I like to try to make it look simple. I usually take a lot of pictures, especially to catch like the moments where the rod's bent in half. That's really hard to time, like blasting 10 frames per second. Snow's coming, it's great. Make for some moodier photos and colder fishing. So usually by April 2nd, most of the lakes have iced out, um, but this winter has been really brutally cold. And so last year at this time, we were wearing like sandals. A little bit different this year. I mean, they've got to be hungry. They've been like sitting under a sheet of ice for the last <laughs> six months. Come on, trout. Where are you at? If I had to choose one focal length to bring with me fishing. Tamron 35 millimeter F18. I think it's one of the more versatile focal lengths. I mean, you can kind of step back and shoot wide scenes, or you can bump in and get like nice tight details. It's a great lens. When you have all your fishing gear, it's easy just to throw one nice prime in the back. And it's compact too. For storage, like a kangaroo. <laughs> There's so much more that goes into fishing than actually catching fish. Regardless of whether or not we catch fish, it's always fun just taking pictures of people fishing. So the next time you find yourself capturing images of the big catch, Remember to use foreground elements to frame your subject, shoot from all different angles, and don't forget your long johns.